Hello. I'm Dr. Byron Bucky Phillips, your tennis pro. The topic for today is visualization. We're going to do a whole series of visualization videos. This one's called Visualization at a Movie Theater. During the COVID-19 debacle, how many of you have been to a movie theater? How many of you attend movies regularly? Today I'm taking you to a plush movie theater and then you will see our two models model the forehand volley and the correct backhand volley. So, as you're viewing this, if you want to close your eyes, fine. If not, follow my lead. You get out of your vehicle and you enter the doors of a plush new movie theater. You can smell the Starbucks coffee brewing. You can smell the life-threatening, heart attack rending, buttered popcorn. You see the Reese's Butter Cups, of which you're going to purchase eight for the movie. In fact, you're going to buy the popcorn, the coffee, and the butter cups. As you enter the movie, because there's still the aftermath of COVID-19, you and your favorite person have a plush leather seat in the G row of the movie theater. The house lights go down, the movie starts, but it's not a Coca-Cola or popcorn ad. In fact, it's not a trailer for a movie. Rather, you are viewing your favorite volleyer of all time executing perfect forehand and backhand technique. In your mind's eye, you slow down the video to slow motion. Then you allow yourself to view it in real time. Now the fun part. You picture yourself executing those perfect balls. You haven't touched the refreshments, as they call them, yet. Now you get up out of your seat, and you walk up the steps, and watch close to the screen, and magically a door opens on the screen. You step inside the screen. You become that volleyer who people are watching on the big screen. You have a feeling of well-being, you're modeling an upright posture, not bent over. You're holding a continental grip. You present the strings to the ball. You execute cha-cha footwork. Boom, four inch stroke. You block, you stick, and you stop on the ball. You do it for the forehand, and you do it for the backhand ball. Now you step back out of the screen, through that door, and back to your seat. Now as you sit there, those buttercups await. You're about to consume eight of the huge buttercups. And as each of those small morsels go down your esophagus, into your digestive tract, you are picturing miniature you hitting the ideal volume. First, you're going to do it in slow speed then you're going to do it in real speed. Now we have our two models showing you how to execute this shot. First we have Jennifer H. She's 10 feet from the net, ideal position, upright posture. She has the racket slightly toward the left. You don't want to blind yourself down the middle. So she's favoring the backhand side slightly. Continental grip. She'll switch to the forehand because she's going to have time for this volley right here. So now Jen presents the racket, little cha-cha steps, ball, perfect. Do it again, Jen, in real speed, just like that, right there. Ball, perfect. All right, now Ken will execute the backhand volley. Once again, note, just like Jennifer H did, he has an upright posture. He's not bent over at the waist. He's got the racket head nice and high, slightly toward the left side, so he's not blinded. He's holding a continental grip. When the ball approaches, 
He presents the strings to the ball. We always say, show me the strings. Me being the person on the other side of the net. So, Ken, show me the strings. One, two, one, two, punch. Good. Do it again. Note the good footwork. Ball. Excellent job by the two players. So in that video, you had the relaxing, enlightening, and satisfying experience of learning how to visualize at a movie theater. You will not be watching the Quentin Tarantino movies and others with the same kind of naivete as you once did. Now you'll be consuming that hot buttered popcorn and Reese's buttercups and coffee, visualizing yourself hitting the perfect stroke. Don't forget to click the link at the bottom of the video and buy our new book. Visualize.